Hi there and welcome to this demonstration of Donify. I'm going to be taking you through all of the brilliant features that are available in the Essentials version of Donify, which is completely free for you to use for up to 500 records in Donify. So this is really great if it's your first step away from spreadsheets and you want to move on to a system where all of your data is together in one place and you're starting to get insights and want to grow your fundraising into different areas. So when you first log into Donify, you will come into a dashboard and this gets automatically updated based on what's happening in the system. We'll head over to one of the records. So as I mentioned, everything is now in one place for you. All of their contact details, so then address, um, telephone number, everything like that who they're connected to so if they're linked to other um, companies or individuals you're able to see a picture of the network of how everybody connects together um, you're also able to see a summary of their giving over the past few years so how much they've been giving to you over time as well as their highest gift lowest gifts everything like that and all of this is automatically updated for you donify helps you with your gdpr compliance so in terms of consents for how people sign up to you um, wh what they want to hear about in terms of purposes and channels um, all of this is customizable as well so you're able to have different purposes on here so you don't have to have newsletter or fundraising if you don't want to and then all of this will be taken into account when you try and get in touch with people either via mail um, if you're trying to phone people but also if you are um, sending emails out through MailChimp and we've got an integration with MailChimp so you can see who's on your MailChimp list their open rates click rates whether they're subscribed to your audience as well and you can use the um, the preferences to be able to send out targeted communications via MailChimp as well as using just their preferences you can also use tags so there's lots of different options here but just so you're aware that all of this is customizable so you can have all of these if you want to but you can have anything that's completely tailored to your organization so you can show um, if somebody's come along to an event in the past couple of years, um, if somebody's taken part in certain events, legacy, you can manage your volunteers through Donify as well. There's lots of things that you can do to try and segment your database in different ways and then use that data to get in touch with people and report on it as well. So that's most of the profile. I also just want to show you the timeline which is your all of your history of transactions and um, interactions with people. Now with Donify a lot of things will be added to the system automatically as part of the integrations. So if somebody signs up to an event through Eventbrite or your mailing list through MailChimp, um, if somebody donates to you through Just Giving, all of that data will pull automatically through into Donify and onto the timeline as well. And Donify will always try and match it to an existing person to try and avoid lots of duplicates in your system. But if you do have any duplicates occur, we've got the handy duplicates checker as well, which will help you to keep on top of any, any potential duplicates in the system. So a lot of the data will start coming in now automatically for you based on the integrations. But then you can also log things manually as well. So for example, phone calls, if somebody phones up um, the organization and you want to keep track of the the phone call you can add the activity type on there with any notes um, I can add how long they were on the phone for if you do that as part of your reporting whether they were happy and then I can create a task if I want somebody else in the team to follow up or if I need to follow up myself as well so I can assign that to myself add a due date onto that if it's um, coming up soon send a notification um, so that allows Donify to integrate with your email provider. So whether you're using Gmail or Outlook, the notification for that task will be sent to you with a calendar invite that you can add to uh, Gmail or Outlook, whichever one you're using. So I can save those changes and the task will be added to my task list here at the top in Donify. So you're able to see all of your tasks that you need to do and tick them off when they've happened and then future tasks as well. You can see what what needs to be done in future. As I mentioned, we pull in data from Just Given automatically. Um, you can also bring in data from Facebook and uh, Virgin Money Giving as well, and all of that is completely free. So all of the integrations with Facebook, you can do through um, Facebook and Virgin Money Giving, you can do through Donify. 
So if I head over to somebody who I know is has fundraising pages, I can see um, their current fundraiser. Andrew's doing a fundraiser through Facebook at the moment, but in the past has also done a history as well. So all of that data will start to get pulled through into Donify for you so you can get a full picture um, of their fundraising that they've done. In terms of managing the um, data with Facebook, we have an additional tool as well, which can be really helpful for when you don't quite get enough information that you need from Facebook, and these are messages. So messages are things that can be sent to people based on what stage they're at with their birthday fundraiser, for example. So you can send them a thank you message or hints and tips or a post birthday thanks with a link to a Donify form, which we'll go through in a moment, and that will share with them information that you already know about them but will also encourage them to sign up to your mailing list or give you further information um, to help complete their their record so you can use the um, the messages to be able to do that and keep a track of which messages that have been sent to people using the um, the, the Facebook part of Donify so you're able to see um, keep on top of all the messages that have been sent to them to try and encourage them to fill out a form. Donify can also be used to keep track of your campaign, so all of your appeals and um, events that you're running, any ways that you're raising money for your organisation can be tracked via a campaign. You're able to set some different parameters for your campaign and then as data gets added into Donify it always gets added to a campaign even if it's just that your general campaign but if it's added as a specific campaign then all of that data will come into the analytics tab here and you'll be able to see how much has been given average gifts um, you can also record your expenses for a campaign as well which will help you calculate a return on investment for each of your campaigns so you can see how well each of them are performing as well you can also link it to your campaigns in MailChimp so you can at a glance see how well your MailChimp campaigns are performing and then click through for further analytics as well. Each campaign has also got its own timeline which means that you're able to see as well all of the uh, interactions, transactions that have been added as part of the campaign. For further reporting you can also use lists which give you the ability to drill down into your data and report on your data as well. So say, for example, I wanted to look for people who'd given over £100 in the last 12 months. I could use this list here to be able to build a picture of what that looks like. And it's really easy to query your data just to find people who've given over £100. They're an individual. And I might want to add some of those tags that we talked about earlier. So whether they're an animal adopter, for example, which there aren't many people in here, but it just gives you an idea of what what you can do to build a picture of people. With that data you might want to download it so say you wanted to analyze it further in Excel or if you wanted to send out a mailing to those people. You can tag people in bulk so if you wanted to add a different tag onto those people you could do so. You can print it, you can archive it and you can also sync it with MailChimp. So what that means is you're giving MailChimp the most up-to-date data for to be able to send out a mailing to those people on your list. One of the main ways that people will give to you is through Donify forms. So with the free version of Donify, you can have up to three forms. It's a really cost effective option because we have integrations with our payment providers, which are Stripe, GoCardless and PayPal, who charge a fee for processing the payment. But Donify doesn't take any fees on top of that. So it's a really cost effective way of getting um, income into your organization. These forms are really easy to build and they can be embedded into your website as well with your own branding. You can ask for as much information as you like so all of these forms are customizable. So this is just a, a simple contact form that you might want to use but I'll also show you an example of a donation form which you could use as well. So here's an example of a donation page and as I mentioned, you can change the colors of these to, to, to be in line with your branding and you can customize this whole page to what you want to show on this page here. Single payments are processed by Stripe or PayPal um, and monthly donations are processed via GoCardless for direct debits or Stripe for single payments. If, they, if you choose to add the gift aid, 
part here, it will then add a gift aid declaration to their record, which you can then use in your gift aid claim with HMRC. So you're able to keep track of who's got of their latest gift aid status. So as I mentioned, you can have up to three of these um, forms. So you could have a contact form, a donation form, and then a campaign form, for example, if it was a, for a particular appeal. Um, and it's a really cost effective way of fundraising because we don't charge any donation fees either. Whenever somebody donates to you via your form, um, you can have automated thank yous being sent out based on how much they've given. So dear Preeti, thank you for your donation of £175 um, and that can be emailed out to them straight away. Or they can come into this acknowledgements queue here, which allows you to thank them um, as soon as you see the donation come into Donify. These can be personalised as well before they get sent out. So you're able to send a message alongside the thank the general thank you that gets sent out to them. And you can just hit the send button and that will go straight out to them. There's also a space for uh, letters, people who need to be thanked by a letter, and also recurring payments. So RPIs, recurring payment instructions, if somebody sets up a direct debit or a standing order, there's a separate place for thanking them on there. I also just want to show you triggers as well. So again, with Donify, you get with the free version of Donify, you get up to three triggers with the system. And these can be really helpful to, to help you start to automate some of your processes. So one example of this could be that somebody has um, become a regular donor. So they've come onto your website, they have um, hit a monthly donation via direct debit, set that up by clicking the donate button and then you want to trigger a MailChimp journey for them. So it might be that, um, for example, you want to send a, a message straight away, then after a month, then after six months. So the triggers will allow you to start this MailChimp donor journey and enable you to see, um, see that. So they don't just have to be used for MailChimp, they can be used for lots of different things as well. Triggering an email, for example, and you can have up to three of those triggers within the free version of Donify. Just to mention in terms of the other parameters around essentials is that you can also have unlimited users. So you can have as many people using the system as you like. There's no limits with Donify. There's also a link to the video below to set up your Donify essential system. So if that is something that you want to do, then you can do that straight away and start using the free version today. Thank you for watching this demo of Donify today and hopefully you can get started soon with using the free version of Donify. Move away from those spreadsheets and start to grow your fundraising in your organisation.